prairie fence. I thought I'd just come up to it today, but I'm not going back that way. I should be going across the fields. They've done a bit of pollarding by the look of it. A bit of clearing. A bit of pollarding. This often becomes a lake here, by the way, when it's severe rain. And you can't come across here. You'd need a boat. Look how it's dried up there. we will show you it's a dry year. There's the priory and the, the barn there. Could have been in the infirmary once. I've always, I always forget, even though I used to come here all the time. I always forget, God, it's very dry, isn't it? Last time I was here, it was, there was water here several months ago. It could have even been during the heat wave and there was water there. This is the orchard in here. And the autumn, and it's autumn at the Priory. It's the 23rd of September, 2022. Now tomorrow, on the 24th of September, I would have got married 45 years ago. didn't last very long, about 12, 13 years and then we divorced. Such is life. There's the beautiful Priory. Don't know if it's open. I'm just going to go back a minute. I want to take some pictures of the drought. Here's the another view of the priory. They only really have sheep in here usually. There's the residential area, but there's the old priory. I still haven't been in the tower yet. I still don't know. I haven't been inside it for years. I think there's one freaky day when it was open. I managed to get in. I've been in. I've been in the house and everything was shown round by one of the wardens. Um, told me about the ghost called Julian that lives in there. It's just so lovely, isn't it? I just love this place. I know they've done a lot of work on the tower and the roof, so that's good. It's being maintained. But you can imagine all the monks walking around here, can't you? And the stream, which leads out to the river out there. This is a tributary. The Woodspr uh, Woodspring Priory. Woodspring Priory. Very dry at the moment, but we could have severe rain and that, like I said, that area there becomes a lake. All these trees, mind, they've got discs on, they're protected. They're all recorded and protected. There wants a chimney there. There's probably more building that came out here, see? You'd have to get in the museum when they open it to find out more about it. I have got the book at home. I always forget to. Well, I didn't plan to come here exactly. I knew I was going to come to Sand Bay for a walk. But I thought, because it's a nice day, um, I'll come over. You're standing on the edge of a former monastic site known as Woodspring Priory. In the 12th century, the manor of Woodspring was owned by Reginald Fitzertz, one of the murderers of Archbishop Thomas Beckett in Canterbury Cathedral in, 8, in 1170. In remorse, he built a chapel here dedicated to, to St. Thomas the Martyr. <sighs> In 1220, William de Courtney, descendant by marriage of Fitzurse, endowed the chapel as a priory of the Victorine Order of Augustinians. Over the next 300 years, it became an extensive monastic site. Just before the dissolution of the monasteries in 1530, the church was more than twice as long as today and had a south aisle.
Today only the tower west end of the church and infirmary remain. You are standing at the southeast corner of the site, beside the infirmary. I have recorded all this before, by the way. <sighs> I just love this church. I always take pictures of it whenever I come. Even though I've got hundreds of pictures of it, I still like to take pictures. And you know what? Guess what, everyone? The door's open. Wow! The door's open, everyone. I can go in. God, it was worth the risk, wasn't it? Something must have told me to come today. I mean, because basically they might shut for the winter. Let's get in before anyone else comes. I haven't been here for ages. Wow. This will be the first time I've used this camera in here. That's the entrance to the tower there. Oh, don't pack up on me now, will you? That was the way into the... I've got the guidebook at home. That was the way into the museum, but I don't know if it'll be open. No. They haven't opened that bit yet. Look at this, though. I'll do a quick scan round in case, just in case this camera packs up. Yeah, I remember this new long table here. In the past, I've lit a candle here. Yeah, I remember that bit there. Yeah, and they've blocked the window up, I think. Used to be, people used to be, yeah, no, they haven't. There's just no one in there. Yeah, this is a lot of the, some of the stuff that was in the some of the old tiles. I've got some old tiles like this that I found in Suffolk when I was roaming about once. So Extensive archaeology. I'm just going to do another video. So I don't know when it will be open again. Because winter's coming and everything. They might not open it so often. See, that's where you've got to watch out. See that rosette thing? Imagine if that started to crumble with all this drying of the atmosphere. Um, I was watching the programme about Westminster Abbey last night, made of similar stuff to this. I have to keep maintaining it. They have to... Big lumps like that can fall off. It'll kill you, see? So you have to do a bit of work on it, I expect, every now and again to make sure it's really well maintained. In the other side, you've got the liar stone, the grave of possibly a knight, connected to the Earth family. Possibly. It's old anyway, put it that way. I have videoed in there before, but never with this camera. No. I've never videoed with this camera before. Little tiny windows on top of that. That must have been the type of altar there, I would have thought. But don't forget, it extended further. This is only part of it. It was bigger. You've got to remember that. That it was actually bigger. Look at that lovely ceiling up there. Isn't it great? Super, isn't it? I remember seeing that. I don't know if it was outside near the farm that time. I'm sure it was. Or something similar anyway. That's a new addition now. Yeah, Thomas Rebecca. 
foundation of Wood Spring Priory is closely connected to one of the most shocking acts in English history, the murder in 1170 of Archbishop Thomas Becket inside Canterbury Cathedral. The manor of Wood Spring was owned by one of the four assassins, Reginald Fitzurse, and he built this chapel dedicated to Thomas. Yeah, I went to see the shrine of Thomas Becket in Canterbury a couple of years ago. Yeah, one of my family tree strips. And here we have the Liar Stone with some sort of, I don't know if that's the top of a sword or something. And I don't know if there's more under there. So there seems to be quite a bit of this liar stone underneath, so it could be more. Look at that big door, look. That leads into the residential part. God, I'm so glad it's open. I've been wanting to come in for so long. I really have. That little figurine there, look. I do that in. Looks like some sort of queen, doesn't it? I haven't got the glasses on. Not quite sure. Some Victorian, late Victorian head or something. Could be of a queen, couldn't it? All the work they've done repairing it over the years. They had scaffolding up <clears throat> last couple of years. Um, Last couple of years, they have. Look at that big old beam up there. That looks original, doesn't it? They've probably kept that one on purpose. Yeah, look at that big arch there. This way it was bigger because look at the size that archway. It's massive, isn't it? It's just so great, all of that. I just love this place. I could spend hours in here. <sighs> it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't want to leave. I'm so glad I came. Look, a good day to come. Like I said, that used to be a museum place. Maybe they're still doing that bit up. Yeah, so... Right, got to move on. What a lovely thing. It was open. What a great view. Oh, great. Thank you very much for being open. Thank you very much. By Ghosts of St Augustine's, well, Woodspring Priory. God, that was lucky, wasn't it? Something drew me to it today, didn't it? Something said Friday, early, in the, my subconscious mind, it was telling me to come here. Do you know what I mean? And of course it came out more, extended right out. You can see where the lumps are. It was massive. It was very significant, I think. Indeed. Apples on the trees in the, in the um, orchard, look. Apples over there, let's just zoom in. Because in the past I've seen people put fruit in there around about the harvest festival time. Let's 
the infirmary. Oh, that was great. Wow. So lucky I was to get in. There are people there. The cleaners are here today. They clean on a Friday, I believe. Let's get ready for the people coming up the weekend. I'll take some photos in a minute. There's an old garage type place or shed. And of course, there used to be a warden. There was a warden in, who lived in there for 40 years. And, uh, and then in 2010, when I, ju I just started visiting here, I think he was just still here when I first came. Then when he'd left, it was empty for ages and I was able to walk all around. There's a huge well in the back, quite dangerous really. It was overgrown, but I managed to see steps going down. And I've got some early video footage very basic of course of the priory and the museum room and possibly artifacts that aren't on display anymore you used to be able to go right up to those windows and there used to be an old bath in there on legs as well hello old tree how you doing all right look at you i can't remember seeing you before but i expect you were here They quite often have sheep in here, they do a bit of munching. And uh, I'm just going to take some photos. There's a stone there of some sort of significance, a marker stone. And they used to have a bench here where you could sit and have your picnic. What I'm doing, I'm going to get over a fence down there in a minute. Yeah, there it is everyone. This is Woodspring Priory that I talk about a lot. And it's been open. Fantastic. Over and out.